In this video, let's see another ITJ problem which was asked in the year 2014 in the main exam. The problem is based on the concept of matrices and we have been seeing many problems so far. Let's see what this question has to say and let's get started with the solution. So the question is, if A is a 3 by 3 non-singular matrix, note the word non-singular matrix, for all those people who have already started the syllabus part, must be knowing that any matrix is said to be a non-singular one if its determinant is not equal to 0. That we will see later upon in the chapter of determinants. What we need to see is the order. The order is 3 by 3. So, such that A A transpose is equal to A transpose A. This condition is given to me. I have to use this whenever needed. And B is equal to A inverse A transpose. That is also given to me. This also will be used later on. What is the value of the expression B B transpose? That I need to know. So, these are the four options given to me in the form of A, B, C, D. We will see what has to be done of these options. First, let's see write heading solution. And after writing the heading as solution, we are going to start the problem. So, the problem concentrates on the value of the expression B, B transpose. Let's write B, B transpose is what we need to get. Now, what is B? B is given to me something as A inverse A transpose. So, let's write it. It is A inverse A transpose and what will be B transpose? It will be the transpose of this expression itself. It will be A inverse A transpose and whole transpose. I repeat it again. We have two things multiplied B and B transpose, two matrices multiplied. B is what A inverse A transpose I wrote it. Next comes B transpose which is the expressions transpose. Now you know the reversal order of transpose multiplication that means things will go in this manner, right? So A inverse A transpose does not change. It is A inverse A transpose only. Next what will happen is second thing will come first because you know one formula AB transpose is what? AB transpose is basically B transpose multiplied by A transpose. So we are using this formula that yes, if we have two multiplication of matrices in the transpose, the reversal order will come. Second thing will come first and then first thing will come. So I have A transpose transpose and then I have A inverse transpose. Right? We are using this formula AB transpose is equal to B transpose A transpose. Now A inverse A transpose, let's write it down as it is, do not change it. What is twice of transpose in a matrix? It is the same matrix itself, right? We know the formula, so it comes out to be A only. Next is A inverse transpose, let's write it as it is. A inverse transpose. Now see if these values are of any use to us. I know that A A transpose is equal to A transpose A. So if I have somewhere this thing, which is what? Which is A transpose A. Can I write it as A A transpose? Yes, I can because the question, in the question, the things have been given. A transpose remains as it is. A transpose A from here becomes A A transpose. I write it as A A transpose. Rest remains the same, no change in A inverse transpose. Now, what is the value of this expression? In the previous question also we saw that if a matrix is given to me and we have A inverse multiplied by A or B inverse multiplied by B, it is none other than the identity matrix, it is a property. So here the expression gives me I, which is the identity matrix. Things remain the same, they don't change. Let's keep on copying rest stuff as it is. Now what is identity matrix multiplied by something? I know that identity matrix is nothing but number 1. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 only. So 1 multiplied by a matrix is that matrix only, right? So it is nothing but A transpose multiplied by A inverse transpose. Now you see something. You have product of two matrices in the transpose form. Isn't it something called as B transpose A transpose? Where this matrix will be treated as B and where this matrix 
will be treated as A. Then it becomes something called as B transpose A transpose. And what is it equal to? It is equal to AB whole transpose. So it is basically equal to what? It is equal to AB whole transpose which I will be writing there. Now what is A? The second matrix. So it is the second matrix. And what is B? The first matrix and the whole transpose. I repeat this thing again. We had two matrices in multiplication both in transpose similar to B transpose A transpose right inside that means it can be equated with AB whole transpose. So second matrix will come first, second will come first, first matrix A will then go and it is the whole transpose as you saw in the formula here so it became the whole transpose. Now using the same knowledge of A inverse A as I, I have A inverse A again as I so it becomes I whole transpose where I is what? It is identity matrix. You multiply 1 any number of times, you get 1 only. Similarly, you multiply I by any number of times or you take its transpose also, you get I only. So the answer is identity matrix. Let's see which option tells me identity matrix. C and D definitely do not. Answer should be I which is option number B. So the problem of the year 2014 ITJ main exam had the answer I as the identity matrix.